welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and for choosing me to be part of your day. Welcome to my nursery, Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery, where anything can happen, something crazy, like I'm always knocking stuff down or knocking stuff over or whatever, so that's the crazy things that can sometimes happen, but you know, it can get pretty wild. <laughs> Not really, but I'm Tamara, head weirdo, top dog, and your host as always. And if you are a returning subscriber, you know I don't scrimp on these. I have several for all of you, just for you to pin on your nose. Pin a heart on your nose. Oh, look, it's this big. Oh. <laughs> have a little bit of a different camera angle today just thought I'd try out something a little different this is pretty tiny so I thought you know I would uh, have her pretty close up but uh, today is my hashtag which is so blue dolly Sunday and I'm going to be answering some tag questions today from Lisa at Lisa's littles I, I uh, kind of went on a little spree on her channel I did one of her tags recently, if you guys remember, there was a this or that a Halloween tag, Halloween treat tag, I think it was. Uh, or Well, no, it was just Halloween. What do you prefer for Halloween, this or that? Well, she's done a part two, and she also has a couple of fall tag videos, or fall tags, that I want to do as well. So I'm going to be doing that today. But before I get started, I wanted to... Uh, give this little one some attention <laughs> well i mean the whole video is about her but you know this is thisby castiel her middle name castiel is from the show supernatural which many of you may be familiar with she's named after the angel castiel her middle name means uh the angel of thursday uh god's uh, what well, is uh, God's shield which uh, the little example sentence that went along with that is uh, God is my cover which I really loved that and this bee is actually a Viking name <laughs> it's crazy but anyways I thought it was just super cute so and I do have her bear lovey and I did ask for name suggestions from you guys and I did get several name suggestions i still haven't found one that has stuck out to me though so i'm going to bring him a little closer today and let you check him out a little bit we are still gonna find a name for him he's got like a little copper nose there if you see and he's got this little champagne colored bow and then he's got gold wings And he does have a music box. It doesn't work. I do plan on opening him up to see if I can fix the music box. I am pretty handy sometimes with stuff like that. He is a Gund brand bear. So, yeah, several suggestions uh, for this bear. Any, you know, as many name suggestions as you want to leave for him. Uh, just leave them in one comment, though, please. Don't. Uh, it's easier for me. If you all just have the one comment with all the suggestions, you know, because I do write them down and keep track and everything. So um, if you all could just give me some suggestions for this little bear, some more. I know you all have given me some, but like I said, nothing has stood out to me. So I want to make sure that we find him the most perfect name. So uh, whoever, whoever's name I choose, their channel will get a shout out. Every time I show this bear on my channel, I will shout out your channel. If you don't have a channel uh, and I pick your name, let me know where you want you know to shout you. If you have an Instagram or if you have a Facebook or something like that. I have an Instagram, so uh, that's you know that's like my go-to thing. I don't have Facebook. I deleted Facebook. I don't. I can't do the toxicity of Facebook. <laughs> So, but yeah, if, uh, if you, if you don't, if you have a channel, I'm going to shout your channel. 
But if you don't have a channel and you don't have any Instagram or anything like that, if you're just simply a, you know, a watcher, um, you'll still get love from me and appreciative uh, shout out every time I show the bear. So yes, as many names as you want, please suggest for this sweet little bear so this bee's bear can have a name. This bee Castiel was purchased from a store on AliExpress called ADFO. Um, she did arrive to me very damaged. She had a flat head and her neck had collapsed down. So this whole part right here that you see, you couldn't even see this part of her neck. It was just flat. So I have, as you obviously can see, I have uh, repaired her. For the most part, shoot, uh, okay, something already fell. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, she is, she is 17 inches long, and she has full arms and legs, and she wears, I have, okay, this, this is a little big on her, I don't know what size this is, I think it's a zero to three months. The little onesie she has on is a newborn, and it's a little bit big. But she kind of got a little junk in her trunk, so um, probably preemie and newborn would fit her. She's laying on a pillow that I have made. This is a newborn-sized pillow, and uh, I am selling these. This, this pillow is for sale. You can buy them in pairs, which is cheaper, which I recommend, or you can buy them separately. Um, I do have a video, a for sale video that I will link in my description. If anyone would like to buy a pillow, please message me on Instagram and I will give you all the information and things that you need there. All right. And also please check out my sales video before you message me on Instagram so that you can see all of uh, what I have to offer. And I will, I also have some new material that I bought as of yesterday. So I'll also be showing that new material very soon too. So just let me know if you want a pillow and I'll show you what I have. All right, now to get started with this tag, I wanna show you what I'm gonna be putting on her today. Uh, first of all, I have this little pacifier clip that was so lovingly made by my best friend, Tamorial. She does have an Instagram account, she does sell these. Um, I do believe that if uh, you ask her nicely, you can uh, ask her to make you a custom one of these. But she does sell these on her Instagram. She also sells necklaces, bracelets, earrings, a variety of different things. So please, 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 if you would, go check out My Best Friend and all she has to offer. And then also I have this bow that I made. And it's just got blue and purple, like thin ribbons. I put stars on the blue. If you can see. There's stars in the middle. There's a star ribbon behind there. There we go. And then it just has a, a little piece of blue ribbon in the back. So this is a bow I'm going to put on her on this. There's fuzz falling all over the place. Uh, this is a headband that I made from the crocheted elastic from BB Craft. So we're putting that on her. And I have these little socks that I recently got from Dollar Tree. They are pale blue and white striped with a little raccoon. And then I just have this Carter's newborn onesie. And this actually this onesie was sent to us in a box opening by my very good friend Joan of Black Lotus Reborns. Yes, Joan. <laughs> and then I'm going to be putting on her this little uh, navy blue um, day romper. It has a white cloud who's smiling right in the middle, and it's just a long sleeve. It has buttons right here, snap crotch. It is size newborn, and I did get this from Pat Pat. 
All right, so let's get started and let's get started with this tag. I'll hold these up as I take them off of her so you can see them again. She's wearing little lamb booties or footies or however you would like to call them, but they're Carter's. I got them from Walmart, child of mine. All right, so the tag I'm going to be doing today is a part two, a second tag from Lisa's Littles. It's a what do you prefer Halloween tag, this or that. And I'm gonna get started right now. So number one is carved pumpkins or painted pumpkins. Hmm, let's see. I guess probably carved pumpkins. Um, I think the act of carving a pumpkin with like your kids or your family member or something like that, I think is that is very nice. Like I, I like that sort of tradition. I don't have that. This is a baby Nordstrom and it's a uh, newborn sized. You can see that uh, Nordstrom baby. <clears throat> it's a little big, but I guess she wears a preemie. And then she has this bow that I made in her hair. I made that. And then I also made this little headband, just like the blue one. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to have to say carved pumpkins on this one. And then number two is bats or cats. I never buttoned that. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> uh cats i i don't do bats it, i don't know if uh however many of you saw my last tag i did where i had to i think it was i think it was lisa's tag it was either lisa's a wonderful world of reborns or it was tammy's i don't remember whose tag i did that i had to answer the question about bats this is just one you newborn. Little flutter sleeves right there. Um, but I I have been attacked by bats um, like seven times. I don't like bats. I'm coming to terms with them. I'm getting used to them, but I, I don't like bats. <laughs> uh, number three is scary movies or funny movies both <laughs> yes it is true i love my horror films and of course halloween is the perfect time to watch horror films i mean honestly any time is the perfect time in my opinion to watch a horror film <laughs> but you know halloween especially but um you know i love movies like the the hocus pocus film you know with bet midler and kathy najini i absolutely adore those movies and they're hilarious you know and there's a another little show that was on disney channel quite a while back it was halloween town i don't know if they still do that or not i don't have disney or anything like that but um i just i think that was really cool to have those shows but i do also really really enjoy the scary movies but you know you can't really watch scary movies like that with with kids not all of them anyways some kids just can't handle that. You know, it's pretty terrifying. It's too real. It's just too real. Look at her little face. Look at her. Look at her. I know a lot of you guys like your babies in little white onesies. So I'm going to show her up close a little bit. I love her face from this angle because it looks like she's like got her bottom lip in her mouth. <laughs> she's just so sweet. And here she is in her little white onesie. No socks. So cute. And number four is witches or vampires. Vampires. <laughs> vampires. Yeah. Vampires. Uh, I mean, I do like witches. I, you know, one of, I, I like the show American Horror Story. And one of my favorite seasons of American Horror Story is called Coven. And it's about a coven of witches, so. And I did wash this, by the way. It, I've actually washed it twice now. I just wanted to make sure that the color wasn't going to blade out. And I will tell you that this has faded, like, a lot since I first got it. 
So it probably would have stained somebody. <laughs> somebody, Samara wore it. She didn't get stained, though. I don't know. Anywho. So, number five is carved. Oh, no, it's not. It's pumpkin spice or uh, apple cider. Um, pumpkin spice. I'm not a big fan of apples. I do have a candle that my brother got me some years ago that is um, apple... Oh, shoot. I don't remember what it's called now. Candied apple. But, it I mean, it smells really good. It, it, but I would prefer a pumpkin scent over an apple scent, I suppose. This is the thing. So, I'm going to pull these up a little bit. I did put elastic around the bottom just to keep it from falling over their feet. You know how when it's too big, it just, just falls right over the top of their foot? Well, not anymore. <laughs> So and get this put on. And the last question, question number six, is haunted house or haunted hayride? Uh, both. <laughs> I really, really like. I mean, I I love going through a haunted house. Really fun, you know. But I also do so enjoy a haunted hayride. So, <laughs> sitting there getting scared, as opposed to standing there and running and screaming. <laughs> yeah fun fun stuff <laughs> well i really enjoyed those uh questions from lisa at lisa's littles and i just wanted to say thank you so much lisa for this tag and for the other tags as well um i really enjoy your your tags a really lot i know there's quite a few of us that do tags every now and then but uh, I really enjoy Lisa's tags. Very fun. Um, just your questions, you know. I just really like it. So I just really wanted to say thank you because I know that even little things take time. And it's time that you're taking for me uh, to help make this community more fun and more positive. And I commend anyone who is trying to help anyone in any way, shape, or form it's very kind of you to take time out of your own life. You know, I really do appreciate that. And I appreciate you and your channel. And I love your channel. And you guys, if you have not been to Lisa's Littles, man, go, <laughs> just go, just go watch her channel. I love her channel. There's so much like she does like shows like vintage, vintage ads and stuff on her channel. That is like one of my favorite things. That is to me, that's Lisa's Littles. When you say that, I automatically think of like vintage Pampers commercials or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, that's like almost like her signature or something. But I, I really love Lisa's channels besides the fact that her babies are just so cute. And she herself is an amazing individual. And I really like knowing Lisa um, I just think she's fabulous. She's just fabulous. <laughs> but, yeah, she comes up with all these fun tags for us and everything. I truly appreciate that. I truly appreciate her. So, um, I'd appreciate you all if you would head over to Lisa's channel and throw her a like and some love and maybe do one of her tags or something. That would be fun, and that would be great, and I would appreciate it, and I know she would, too. She is so kind, you guys. She is so kind. All right, it looks like Thisbe is all dressed up, and now we can't really see her because she is on a black background. I should solve this problem. Okay, guys, there she is. Now you can see her <laughs> on this white background. But there she is, just for my hashtag, so Blue Dolly Sunday. And I wanted to remind everyone that I do also have a second tag that is limited. It ends in December. Uh, basically, it ends when winter begins. But uh, basically, you you bring on anything fur, fun for Friday. This is it's fun, you know. Show me your dogs. Show me your horses, or show me that wild raccoon family living in your backyard, or show me. Uh, some pictures of the zoo trip or 
It's Halloween time. How about you in a costume or in a mask? Wouldn't that be fun? Just as long as it's fur and it's fun and it's Friday. <laughs> I don't care. You could have your babies dressed up, you dressed up. You don't even have to have a baby in the video if you don't want to. This is fun fur Friday. So, of course, babies are always welcome. All dolls are welcome on this channel. All dolls, bears, and toys. Love to see them. Love you love everyone if you would like to be entered to win a reborn baby there are details in my description it's our 500 subscriber giveaway i'm doing with my best friend tamoriel we are almost at the end of the line guys we're just literally a couple of people away from having ourselves a good old-fashioned giveaway so and if uh, all of you if you don't know tamoriel has been a bit under the weather so if you would please continue to send her love and prayers, I would really, really appreciate that. I hate when my best friend is sick. I hate when anyone's sick, but I especially hate when my bestie is sick. Because then she has less time for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that I was able to lighten your load a little bit. Maybe make you laugh, sit back, and... Just maybe relax a little bit. Just chill out and just have a good time. You know, shake off all those troubles and worries in the world. And just, you know, be you with me for a little while. You are so appreciated and you are so loved. Um, I appreciate all the love and the support that you give to not only me, but to my channel as well. And to my Instagram. I, I really appreciate that as well. I, I always forget to say thank you for your support on Instagram, but I truly do appreciate all that support. It's kind of been on the back burner for me since my channel is, you know, been doing so, so well. I'm steadily gaining subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I cannot do this without you. And if you enjoyed yourself today, please consider hitting that like and subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell four or five hundred times to notify YouTube that you want to be notified when I post a new video or do a live or post a short. How about it? Okay, guys, I hope to see you the next time that we are here, which will be for Tuesday when I will be doing another tag from our friend Lisa and Lisa's Littles. So I hope that you will join me then for that. And for now, me and t t almost said me and Tamorial. <laughs> well, yes, me and Tamorial. <laughs> and this bee and this guy, we want to say thank you so much for joining us today and thank you so much for being here and, and just being with us. We love you. Mwah. Yes, we do. And please, guys, leave some, some, some more, more suggestions for this bear's name down in the comments. I do so appreciate it. Hopefully, we will get him named this time. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye for now.